So in case you were wondering, the shirt says I'm kind of a big deal. Um, another one of my various Grinch shirts that I have. Um, yes, I know this is going up after Christmas, but I don't care. Grinch. Um, and I'll probably be watching some Christmas movies, possibly into January. It all depends on um, stuff. So, uh, we have another one of my Straw Hat Animal Allies videos. This one should be a little bit shorter than the other ones have because there's not quite as many, but it all depends on how much I rant about them. So, uh, moving into this one, uh, most of these animals are situated within the New World, but there was uh, there are two that technically are within the uh, the first half of the Grand Line in the Paradise area. So, uh, the first set that are on here are the Ruskina animals, which would be like the giant monkey and the giant lion and the giant uh, elephant and giant crocodile and stuff like that uh, that Luffy interacted with on Ruskina. I say interacted with, uh, by interaction, I mean he kind of beat the crap out of them and practiced his conqueror's hockey on them until they became his friends. <laughs> until he became the big boss of the island via Rayleigh saying, go fight that animal. Also, dodge this club. Um, so, yeah, I put them here um, because, uh, you know, when we see Luffy go back to, you know, at the end of the time skip and everything when Luffy's heading back, we see, um, you know, him saying goodbye to the animals and like, they're really sad that he's leaving because he's their friend now. And I think Luffy even says, well, I made them my friend, so I can't really eat them. Um, which is saying something for Luffy because he will eat almost anything that's meat that is placed in front of him. Um, uh, so yeah, there's that. But, um, one of the other bits is, um, during one of the cover pages, uh, cover page series where we get like the, uh, one of the bounties up. I don't remember if it's the one billion berry bounty one or if it's when it's his, um, 1.5 berry bounty. I don't remember which one, but I know at one point we see that Margaret has returned to the island and she actually shows, um, the uh the animals luffy's new bounty poster um you know his wanted poster and everything was his new bounty and they're like really happy for him because they recognize him um because when uh she had first shown up on when margaret along with the boa sisters had first shown up on the island uh to pick luffy up at the end of the time skip um you know margaret had like kind of been in a standoff with them and luffy just shows up and makes them calm down and margaret sees that luffy and the animals are friends uh so the way that I kind of see with that is, like, the way that those animals could be useful is if, yes, I am, um, if they understand that, like, the Kuja are Luffy's friends as well, then what could be done is, you know, when the Kuja, you know, since there's a possibility that some of them may have to leave Amazon Lily, particularly Bo and, her, you know, Hancock and her sisters may have to leave Amazon Lily to, may, you know, go and help Luffy, um, at some point in time with whatever battle ends up happening, because I think that they would be there as allies for him, that, you know, that, you know, maybe the animals might want to come with them. Margaret might be like, hey, um, Empress, Bo Empress Hancock, yes. Um, the, the animals that are on the, on Ruskine are actually Luffy's friends, and they might like to actually come and help us, and they're really strong, so maybe we should bring them too. Very well. Just like the Hancock. Very well. We shall bring them. And like she, you know, bring them and they probably all get crushes on her or something like that. I don't know. Um, you know, and, you know, she, you know, they take the animals with them. That's about all I see there because I do not see Luffy at all ever returning to Ruskina at any point in time. Um, oh, here's the Rainy. Rainy, Rainy. Oh, you come in and say hi. You come in. Yay, puppy. He's like, um, why is my window covered? Well, it's covered because I'm recording and it makes a glare. You can get... <laughs> okay, we're going to watch you. You going to be cute? You going to try to open the window? He's like, well, if you would lift the shade, that would be helpful. <laughs> hey. Don't you claw at that. There. Silly animal. 
it snowed last night, which we knew it was going to snow, so it's not surprising. And it's really cold outside right now to the point where I tried to take him on a WALK this morning. And he, you know, we got part way around the block by our house. And it just like his, he was like, nope, nope, pause too cold, pause too cold from how cold the snow was. So we turned around and came back. So he's fine. Um, if he really wants to go out, uh, outside, we have a backyard that he can run around in. But, you know, letting him on a walk lets him stretch his legs a little bit too. So um, uh, back to this. So, yeah, no, I don't really ever see Luffy returning to Ruskina by any means, but uh, I could possibly see they come with the Kuja Pirates, but I'm not expecting them to. But if they did, that would be fine. Uh, moving on to an ally that I do hope shows back up at some point in time is Surume the Kraken. Um, so Surume is, of course, introduced during the new fish, the Fishman Island arc um, and such. He is being kind of used by I think it's Horty Jones. Is it Horty Jones or is it Vanderduck? And one of the two, he's being used by them because, like, um, Surume's um, brother or sister or something like that, younger brother or sister, is being held captive um, by them, by whichever one. I don't, yeah, I don't remember if it's Horty or uh, Vanderduck, but has them as, you know, a hostage, and they're using Surume to, like, attack ships, particularly human ships that are coming down from, uh, you know, Sab Odi and such, so that way they can, you know, loot them for treasure and then kind of technically, I think they also just like force them to join Horty's crew or something like that, somewhere in that range. Um, there's a lot of stuff that happens there with that. Um, but uh, Luffy ends up like taming Surume and then he just calls him Surume, uh, taming the Kraken and names him Surume, which is, I believe, um, a, I think it's supposed to be like a roasted octopus or something like that, or it's like a type of octopus dish. So, yeah, we're going to name it food. Oh, Lord, Luffy. Um, although I do have, I do have a shiny octillery that I got in, um, I think it was in Legends Arceus that I caught there that I believe I have nicknamed Surume. Um, I haven't really done anything with it, but I have one and the, you know, the coloring is close enough, so I nicknamed it that. Um, and at some point in time, I'll probably end up doing another video where I talk about all these other new Pokemon that I caught with, you know, with the Legends Arceus and stuff like that that I've named after um, various uh, One Piece characters. Um, uh, One Piece and Bleach characters and such. So, uh, yeah, Surume is the Kraken. We know that he shows up near the end of Fishman Island. Because uh, he helps like move the Sal's and Sunny into Fishman Island, and then at the end of the uh, at the end of the arc, he shows up and fights against um, Watsume, the giant pufferfish um, uh, uh, merman, him fishman, whatever. That's part of the uh, Sun Pirates at that point in time, or will become part of the Sun Pirates. He fights against him. And then I know in one of the other cover page series, or it might have been the same one. Uh, uh, he, you know, he ends up getting a newspaper from a news coup. How he paid for the newspaper, I don't know. But maybe occasionally the news crew are like, eh, we like this animal. Here, have a newspaper. And then they just fly off. Um, I don't know how much Morgans would like that, but, you know. Uh, you know, and Surume gets, you know, Luffy's new bounty poster and such and sees that, his wanted poster. So there's that. I think Surume could show up again at some point in time. Like, you know, he ends up seeing, oh, all those sea kings are being or headed that way and they said that they're going to go deal with this fight so I'm going to go that way too. Um, so maybe that might happen or maybe the Sun Pirates might find Surume and take him with them so there's a possibility there. I'm not 100% sure but we'll see what happens with that. Um, but I would like Surume to show back up again. Up next um, we have Ushi, the brutal bull that is in uh, the Cordia Coliseum in Dressrosa. Um, he's one of the participants in the C block, and the same block as Luffy, or, uh, Lucy. Um, and what ends up happening is, um, Luffy ends up, you know, kind of taming the bull, because the bull is like, this, you know, is on, you know, he's defeated lots of death row prisoners and different things like that during his time at the Cordia Coliseum. He's a very brutal bull as he is. Um, and Luffy ends up taming him, and actually befriending him. 
and like Luffy rides around on him during the uh <laughs> during that part of the tournament until Ushi get uh, Ushi gets knocked out and Luffy's the one that names him Ushi before that he's just called the brutal bull. Um uh, and then when they're, like, all, when, like, a whole bunch of the prisoners are escaping and everything, or not the prisoners, when a whole bunch of the gladiators are, you know, restored and escaping and everything, uh, you know, Luffy, uh, Luffy gets to ride on Ushi as they're running around, like, he, you know, he has, like, law on Ushi's back as he's, like, carrying him and stuff. Um, I know at some point in time, Ushi ends up, unfortunately, getting hurt, um, and, uh, like, Luffy gently, you know, puts him somewhere where he leaves Ushi with someone. But we never got, like, an update on what happened to Ushi after, you know, part of Dressrosa. After, like, so much of the big battles were happening in Dressrosa. And I kind of want to know what happened to the bull. Um, that, that would be an interesting SBS, but I have no idea how to send Oda an SBS. Um, but I would like to and say, hey... What happened to Ushi after Dressrosa? After, what happened to the bull after Dressrosa? Did did it stay on Dressrosa? Is it like a friend of Rebecca's now? Um, you know, what happened with that? But I wouldn't mind if Ushi showed back up again. Like, just a way that they could end that is like, if like, you know, Rebecca and Kuros, because like, Rebecca can fight. We saw that very much during uh, the Cordia Coliseum setup that Rebecca does know how to fight. And of course, Kuros very much knows how to fight. Um... Uh, even Viola knows how to fight to a degree and stuff like that with her, you know, her whale tears and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if like a whole bunch of the, you know, a whole bunch of the uh, people from Dressrosa showed up, like the Dressrosa army showed up to like help Luffy at some point in time, which I think could happen. Uh, if like if Rebecca comes riding in on Ushi, then that would be great. I would very much appreciate that. Um, don't know if that's going to happen, but I would appreciate it. Um, next up, <clears throat> we go from a bull to a giant elephant. So we have, I'm putting Zunisha here as opposed to in the adjacent allies area. Um, cause Zunisha has base, it's like proven that it's a straight up ally of Luffy's at this point in time with the straw hats and stuff. Technically, yes, it is via the Minx and via Momo, but I'm still putting it there. Um, so yeah, we have Zunisha who is, I am going to end up mispronouncing this and I apologize entirely. Um, uh, uh Netamani Norida elephant basically is like a very very long-legged elephant is what it is. Um, we know that Zunisha is of course where the kingdom of Zo is, is the inhabitants on its back, that Zunisha has been wandering the seas for an exceedingly long number of years, um, like 800-900 years or something like that, uh, from the time, you know, probably since just after the Void Century because of a crime that it committed and, you know, it's been wandering around ever since then and it can only seem to take orders from uh, the Kozuki clan because it could only take orders from Momo. Um, Luffy could hear it, but he could not issue any orders to it, but Momo could communicate with Sunisha um, and such. So um, I do see Sunisha as like an ally of the Straw Hats. Uh, at this point in time, particularly since it, it proclaimed Luffy as the new Joy Boy. Zunisha proclaimed Luffy as the new Joy Boy, so I'm pretty sure that it's an ally of theirs at this point in time. Um, and I know a lot of people think that, like, Zunisha is, like, um, would be necessary to, like, open Wano's and, like, to tear away um, the, uh, the fake hills that are around Wano and stuff like that to release all that rainwater and to result in um, uh, Uranus being useful again, or to result in Pluton being useful again. So there's that. Um, we know that um, Zunisha kind of just vanished after like the battle on Wano and stuff like that on Onigashima. Um, don't really know too much uh, what else happened with it. I'm, sh I'm assuming we'll get like an update at some point in time for where Zunisha went, or maybe Zunisha may show back up at Wano, um, since it can be ordered around by Momonosuke, well, ordered around slash, you know, I don't see Momo as, like, being mean to the elephant, but I don't see that, but, like, having Momo be able to, like, help with communication between, like, Carrot and Zunisha would be a good decision, so that way it's just like, well, 
Kara's like, well, I would like to be able to have our island, have Zunisha stay here around Wano to help protect Wano from, you know, any of the Marines that show up and stuff like that. But I can't make Zunisha listen to me. So, like, have Momo explain to Zunisha, okay, so, I, you know, your new orders are, I want you to stay around Wano. Um, still protect the makes that are on your back, of course, but I want you to stay around Wano and help protect Wano. And you can rest. You don't have to continuously walk. Um, like you have been, you can rest and stuff like that. Uh, so I can kind of see that happening and... Definitely if Zunisha shows up to help with like the final battle, you know, final war, however that ends up going would be nice. Um, I know that there's theories that there are other um, of the elephants out there, of the Zunisha species of elephants out there. But I do not know if that is confirmed. I know that some people think that, but don't know if that's entirely true or not. I guess we'll have to find out. Although... Well, I was going to say, if there were more than one, you'd think other people would have seen them by now. But even, I don't think even Robin had heard of Zunisha until they arrived at Zunisha. So, uh, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, but moving on, now we're going to move into some Wano animals. So, uh, the first one I have on the list is Koma Inu, who is, of course, Tama's dog. A giant, you know, Komachio dog. Uh, I have named a shiny Hisuian Arcanine after Koma Inu. Um, it, it was the right coloring, and I was just like, it's male, it's getting named that. Um, I do see Koma Inu is definitely an ally to the Straw Hats at this point in time. Um, technically via, you know, Tama, but still I think it would help them anyway. Um, uh, we know in regards to Koma Inu, it definitely was a big help. With helping trying to get uh, uh, Nami and Usopp and Tama uh, to safety while they were uh, running around doing Ingashima and running away from Ulti and Page One and Big Mom and stuff. Um, so there's that. Um, I do think we see Koma Inu um, after, like, during the banquet at the end, you know, during the big festival and everything like that at the end of the story. I think we see uh, them, uh, I think we see Koma Inu running around there with Tama. Um, and celebrating and stuff, but I don't think we really see anything else of it. Uh, hopefully we get to see it in, like, any, like, cover page updates that we get uh, down the line of Wano in regards to, you know, seeing what Tom or Momonosuke are up to at that point in time, or Hiyori. I think Hiyori would love getting to fawn over uh, Tama along with, uh, well, she already kind of fawns over uh, Toko, but like fawning over both of them. I think Hiyori would just love that and just to get to be like a big sister to a degree again uh, to them. Uh, I think, I think that would be adorable. But like, yeah, Koma Inu would definitely be there if, you know, since Tama wants to train to become a ninja, I could think of, you know, being trained by Shinobu and then like, you know, Koma Inu can learn how to help her with that. Uh, considering he is her loyal puppy. Um, her loyal coma dog, which is adorable. <sighs> um, uh, so there's not really too much else there. I do want him to show back up again. I'm assuming if any of the horses from Wano show back up again, he will probably be among them. Um, possibly leading our Tama and her army of beast pirates that are now obeying her by choice as opposed to the Kibi Dongo. Um, I do hope we find out the resolution to that because I think Speed would stay around and I think some of the other um, ones that were at the prison would probably stay as part of Tama's um, help help alongside Tama and stuff like that. I'm sure some of them probably wouldn't, but some of them might. Um, but that's not really here nor there. Um, and then moving on to uh, another uh, Wano animal. I know there were a whole bunch of other like random animals like the chickens and the giant dogs and the deer and stuff like that that were running around Wano. That I really like the designs of those, but the Straw Hats didn't develop any specific relationships with any of them. Yeah, uh, we saw Kamon running around on like the Koma roosters or something like that, and I really like the Koma deer thing that Hawkins had, um, along with the giant um, uh, Great Dane Koma Inu thing there too. I like that too, um, but. I don't see those, those weren't something that the Straw Hats, like, particularly bonded with. Um, Komachio, Komachio, definitely, and then Onimaru would be the other one that I want to go into, which would be, 
Um, of course, Onimaru, the uh, Komo... <clears throat> Onimaru, the Komotsune. And I love Onimaru. I have a shiny Hisuian um, Zoro arc that I named after it. Um, because it's like, you know, I liked it and it's a fox thing and it can, you know, shape shift and everything. So I was like that. Um, uh, so I have that, uh, but, uh, in regards to, um, you know, Onimaru, he has the devil fruit that allows him to turn into the, um, it's, what is it? The Hito Hito no Mi model. Um, oh, I knew what it was. What was it? Um, model. the bridge guardian nah. I don't remember but it, it's the bridge demon guardian thing that I have I'll probably end up thinking of it going blah, 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 at some point in time but we'll see um but there's that um I do see Onimaru showing back up again it definitely he definitely proved to be an ally uh we saw him at the end of Wano we saw him there around um Kenemon and um, Kalmatsu, uh, when they were uh, visiting the uh, the graves where they were going to be setting up Odin and Ashura Doji and Izo's graves, um, and stuff like that, so they could all have, you know, proper graves and proper burials, including probably Toki as well. Um, a side note, I do hope we find out what the heck happened to Toki's Devil Fruit, but I don't see that happening anytime soon unless something else specifically is shown. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, you know, when it comes to, um, you know, Onimaru, I think him showing up again and being able to turn into his, you know, human form, uh, that he can turn into and, like, helping fight and everything like that would be good. Like, him and Kawamatsu fighting together, um, like, you know, if this, if, you know, the scabbards show up to help, you know, at the final battle, wherever the final battle ends up taking place and everything. Um, that would be good um, to see them there with Onimaru. But other than that, I don't necessarily see us interacting with Onimaru too much more unless he just shows up. Again, Onimaru showing up, like if they do any cover page stuff, would be fine uh, to show him. Maybe him and Komachio can like hang out together. That would be good. Um, and then that was what I had so far because we haven't really had any other like animals that have shown up in the New World arc yet. Yes, they're on Egghead Island and yes, there were the mechanical animals, but those ones aren't allies to them and there haven't really been any other allies that have shown up. And um, even going into um, any of the movies, uh, the only... I'll, I'll get to an honorable mention in a moment, but like not really in any of the other movies um, for the last five... Well, last four, if you can see where I'm going with that. Um, there weren't any, you know, uh, Film Z that I wanted to point out, even though I know that those aren't canon. Film Z didn't have any. Film Gold didn't really have any animal allies. Same thing with, um, you know, Stampede. And same thing with um, <laughs> uh, Film Red. They didn't really have any animal allies in those. But going into the honorable mentions, I have to have... For Strong World, I have to throw in Billy the Gigafowl because I love Billy in Strong World. He is adorable. He is fun. He is an electric bird, and I love it, and I love Billy, and he goes here as honorable mention. Again, I know, I know, I know, the films are not canon. Gold is one of the ones that can easily be fit in there as canon. Um, if Oda wanted to, there's enough certain canon material and stuff like that that I would be like, yes, I would love this, but it's not. Um, but I wanted to throw in Billy because I love Billy. Um, I love him being Nami's friend, and then I love him, like, working with Luffy at the end, uh, to help defeat, uh, uh Shiki. Um, I just, I love Billy. I like the fact that we kind of see him at the end of the, I think there's, like, a end scene or something like that where we see that Billy is still living on, um has gone and like he kind of lives near where the um uh like the little girl and her family ended up and stuff like that where her and her village ended up so i kind of like that um i know that billy's probably never going to show up again beyond like cameos and like i think he may have been a cameo in films in stampede but i don't think there was anything beyond that 
Um, but I would love it if I would love it if Billy became canon because he would so so be a great animal ally for the Straw Hats. I really wish that Billy could have joined the Straw Hat crew. I know again, moving non canon doesn't work, so he can't become a Straw Hat. But Billy would have fit in great among the Straw Hats. Him, you know, him and Nami already get along. He could help her with a bunch of like powering up her attacks before she got Zeus, and even then. Um, and probably still work out well for that and then you throw in the fact that like he can fly Luffy around and everything like that or you know Luffy you know he can electrocute people and still have Luffy on his back and Luffy is not affected by this so that would also be a really good way of crowd control at times um <laughs> and different things like that and at times he could also be useful to the other straw hats like he can be helpful if I don't know chopper needs a defibrillator set up or something like that he could use Billy as like a charge cord um uh brain um but I love Billy I really wish Billy could have been a straw hat but he gets an honorable mention here um so yeah I did want to throw that in there um the next one that's going to be for the animal allies are going to be about uh, allies by adjacent. So these are going to be ones who um, kind of fall into the fact of they're kind of only an ally to the Straw Hats. Like they didn't have a huge amount of direct interaction with the Straw Hats as, uh, as an ally within the arc. But they have enough interaction with an ally of the Straw Hats already that they're allies by adjacent. And I'll be going through them... Um, I think that's going to end up being in a video, that, not the week, not this week, as this one goes up the week after Christmas, but like the week after New Year's, um, is probably when that one will go up, uh, when I get that one recorded. So, yeah, that's what I have. Um, this is going up after Christmas, so I hope everybody had a happy Christmas and had happy holidays and any other rest of your holidays, uh, that are remain and a happy New Year and everything like that. So, yeah, I do have one more video set to come out before the end of the year, and that should be uh, the last one for the Uta songs. That'll be the world's continuation and where the wind blows uh, will be those ones, uh, will be that combo, because I thought that that was a really good one to use to end the year out on uh, for that one, because of just some of the messaging in the song. So that's what I have. I thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice rest of your day, and happy holidays. Bye!